Hello, my friends. Welcome to our At the Puno Coffee Table preview. This is a preview of an upcoming series we've titled Secret Agent Christians. I heard a pastor a while back talking about secret agent Christians. He was talking about two groups of Christians, disciples and secret agents. Uh, he described the secret agents as saved only Christians, but not disciples of Christ. You know, those are the ones that had done just the minimum required for entry into heaven. And it, this really confused me. You know, I'm an engineer, so I wanted to understand the origin. And was it really possible to be saved, but then put in no effort to follow Jesus, to be his disciple? You know, secret agent Christians may be true, but the question really is, are they saved? You know, I remember a story I once heard from Bill Wise the story was more of a question. He said, uh, pick a celebrity, anyone, an actor, an athlete, a wealthy person, anyone that you admire, and then go to their house and knock on their door and tell them that you're moving in. You know, just because you're, you know all about them and you're a good person, you know, do you think they would let you move in with them? Well, I mean, my, probably not, right? So why do we think that Jesus is going to let us into heaven if we don't have any kind of relationship with him. That just doesn't make sense to me. So we're going to explore this in this series, and we're going to define two categories. A disciple who is actively following Christ. You know, follow is an action word, so disciples have to be doing the actions that Christ is asking them to do. And then secret agents, and these are Christians in name only. You know, they do little or no action to back up what they say they are. You know, no fruit of any kind to show evidence that they have a commitment to Christ. And I decided to see what the Bible says. You know, does the Bible have two different classes of Christians, disciples and saved only people? And we're going to study 10 verses for each disciple and for salvation only. And and just see what the Bible has to say. You know, my fear uh, that this concept of secret agent Christians is giving people a false idea that getting a ticket to heaven is the objective of the Christian life. You know, I personally believe that it, salvation is not the objective. It's the fringe benefit. It's the free gift. You know, I'm a Christian. I'm a follower of Jesus. I'm a disciple of Jesus. My objective is to grow my relationship with Jesus every day and live in the kingdom of God right now, every day, every minute. You know, I'm trying, I'm striving every day to be more and more like my king, Jesus. You know, that's what a disciple does. So salvation in heaven, they're really free gifts. That's what Ephesians 2.8 says. You know, those are the free gifts that followers of Christ are going to get. You know, we're grafted into the family of God. That's what Romans 11 says. We are the sons and daughters of God. 2 Corinthians 6, we get to live in our father's house. God has become our father because we've been adopted into his family. We're also the bride of Christ. You know, Jesus is going to come back and take his bride to live with him forever in his father's home. We should not try to separate these two. You know, or suggest that there are opposing views or two different Gospels. There's only one Gospel of Jesus. We should pay very close attention to how Jesus defined it in the Gospels, and then interpret our scriptures consistently and confidently using all the words of Jesus and all the words in the other books of the Bible. One consistent message. You know, I'll leave you with these thoughts. A Christian is a follower of Christ. Follow is an action word. We are saved by grace. I believe our objective as a Christian is to follow Christ, be his witnesses, go, make, reach, teach new disciples, become more and more like the one that we say we love. Jesus gives a free gift to all his followers, which is salvation. That's eternal life with him. So you be the judge. And as we go through this study on the secret agent Christians, I hopefully we can discover together if this is really true. So let me pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for your word, the Bible. I'm so thankful that a broken, 
messed up sinner like myself can read your words and can see the big picture that you paint with all the words of the Bible, not just a single brushstroke from a single verse. Amen, Lord. So thank you for joining me at the coffee table preview for Secret Agent Christians. I hope to see you again at the Poonlaw coffee table. God bless everyone.